Greetings there, my fellow enforcers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Frostpunk 2 Frost Harbor. Episode 6, Crackdown. Alright, the emergency shifts are, like, injuring people? Uh... Damn. There's really no more food I can bleed from this, right? So unless Iron Home can start making its own food, which it can't, it doesn't have food nodes, there's nothing I can do about the food. Well, actually, that's not true. It's possible the storm passed a food resource area out here. But no, this is a this is a big honker of a storm. Basically, every oh man, ooh, everything is the wrong color. Oh uh, yeah, this storm hit all known locations everywhere. There's there's nothing I can do about food. Generator is getting cooking hot. But I'm going to keep pushing it. I have to. Now, one other thing I could do is create another heating hub. If there's a super um, impactful spot for it. I'm not sure if... The oh, yes. Yeah, that's impactful. Because I have material excess. And I can use that excess materials for heating hubs to reduce the heating demands. Oh, generator malfunctions is starting to kill people. Okay. Overdrive off. Sorry, people. Didn't mean to kill you, but like, I did have an overpopulation problem, so like, um, we kind of accidentally solved it by murdering you. Not proud of that? But it did help. So now I'm adjusting the production so that the facilities that are closest to this heating hub are um, preferred over other facilities to balance out the, uh, the, the heating and supply. Actually, I'll go deficit. That's fine. So we're actually pretty close to our shelter max because of that uh, generator accident. Oopsie poopsie. But, you know, time's a crisis. Ooh, I can fully turn that off. That's going to be really... I'll turn both off. Did I turn... No, I didn't t turn the coal extractor off. Um, Thirteen weeks. I don't know if we can stand for that, so I'm going to have to do emergency here, too. Oh, God, this is bad. It's because the generator overheated and that, like, boosted power generation effect wore off. Um... Alright, I'm just, I'm just thinking. We might need some extreme measures. So taking a look at what is most expensive to heat. These foods are 100 apiece. Um, this heating hub will change the calculus significantly once it's built. So the hundred apiece food might need to get turned off. Also, I'm not really sure why these, um... Oh, really? That seems like a bug. It's reading that it needs... Okay, now it doesn't need fuel? I, th I think that was just a UI bug. It wasn't an actual calculated bug. Um, Steward. Steward. 
I'm going to hold a mind shaping session to increase trust. Because all the recent deaths, you know, for very obvious reasons, would decrease trust. Um. Yeah. And hope that that heating hub helps a lot more than I think it will. Alright, so 14 weeks of fuel. Yeah, we're going to have to make some pretty deep cuts here. So, turning off. Turning off. People will starve, but starvation doesn't happen immediately, and that bought us six more weeks of fuel. Uh, I'm also going to start working overtime at the other coal extraction. 21 weeks. This good factory doesn't require fuel. This one requires 60, so I'm going to spin this one down a little bit. Or actually, no, forget this bonus. Yeah, okay, that should help out a lot. So now, zero, zero, okay, good. Yeah, I'm heating that for free. Um... Okay, yep, 32 weeks. Iron Home, how are you doing? Iron Home is like frickin' golden. Don't have to worry about that. Generator. Feathering it on and off. Buy us a little bit more time. Uh, tightening belts. Tightening belts is not something that, um, that any of my factions can do. That's, uh, that's a special ability that, like, only certain factions have. I wish you could tell how long this storm will last. Like, in actual weeks, to know precisely to calculate the coal. What I think I'm gonna do is feather on the expanded food districts. To temporarily get rid of some of the like pending hunger food scarcities and then to turn them back off like on and off on and off you know that kind of thing oops so now I have food surplus very very briefly everyone briefly gets fed now this facility is like completely out of um, food Sixteen weeks. All right, and then let's turn these back off. I'm just trying to make it so that we're not freezing, we're not starving, we're a little bit of everything, but like nothing all at once, you know. Um, I don't want things to start to get destroyed by squalor, so I'm gonna start to supply more materials because losing, getting districts damaged by squalor would be bad. Twenty-seven weeks. I think we can hold out. Uh... I'm going to turn this one off, because this one is 60 to heat. And these should be less, right? Yeah, they're less. So these are still zero to heat because of adjacencies. 
I think. Yep. Oh God, this storm, man. All right, let's feather on the generator overdrive again. Buy us a little bit more time. Oh, look at that coal stockpile. Yeah, minus five. I can live with that. Of course, it's temporary for when the generator is on overdrive. And off again. So let's do the feathering of food again to avoid the growing food scarcities. My trust sucks. But, I mean, I want them to survive more than anything else. I will turn off the emergency... ...shifts now. Maybe that's a bad idea, but... I think we're gonna survive this storm... ...without the emergency shifts, and I'd rather regain trust. The machinists are a little, uh, peeved about this whole situation, but, you know, I don't blame them. Uh, 15 weeks of... So let's feather this back on. Buy us a little bit more time. 35 weeks, That's that, that'll work. Oh, hold your breath. I'm going to keep the food going, because I think we can afford to keep it going. Alright. Materials Colony. Iron Home, how you doing? Iron Home already passed the storm. It ain't stormy here. Uh, so it's, it's, it's got a massive surplus of, 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 uh, coal. Uh, hey, Iron Home. I don't have... So, Iron Home, stop importing goods. And start exporting coal. Not a lot of it. Oh, no, the trail's are already full. Near mine. Uh... Yeah, no, forget it. It's really not a lot of levers to pull until I get skyways. Alright, back into hell. Here we go. We're almost through it. Oh, oh screw that noise. That was unfun. And now I have a lot of, uh, really problematic situations to fix. Resource exchange. Oops. All right, don't export any food to Frost Harbor. Don't export any coal to Frost Harbor. Only export maximum amounts of, um... Yeah, okay. Whew. Well, we did it! Now we'll fix our materials deficit. And goods deficit. Uh... And then go back out into the uh, unexplored wasteland. Oh, well, that was brutal. That was that was not not that fun. Okay, so a lot of the a lot of the problems seem to be basically rebalancing. So let's spin back up, 
exploration because we need to make significant inroads into exploring the outside world so that we can avoid uh, situations like that. I'm also now extracting oil again. So where the hell are we going? Uh, we need another Pathfinder uh, logistics uh, survivalist headquarters in order to make it a little bit safer to get it back out there. So... Cheers. Um, I'm going to reduce the oil down 10% and this food down 10% so that we can build another survivalist headquarter so that the overland map areas around here are a little bit safer. Uh, I would very much like to try to find um oh you know what you know what it is hold on hold on i turned those off didn't i yeah that's what it is i don't need another one although i have it built i just need to turn them on no this one's on oh no it's disabled uh i actually don't don't mind having two but i'm going to destroy the other one I forgot that I turned it off for the storm. So unfortunately you can't like cancel. You just have to wait for it to like build and then just deconstruct. So I'm just going to fast forward time to undo that mistake. Oh, whatever. It's on. I don't care. Eh, keep it. Uh, Alright, so let's go out to the map and start surveying for precious resources. Oh, it's still dangerous. So let's, uh, actually, no, I take the back. Let's turn on the other one so that we can start surveying the dangerous stuff. Because we're kind of locked in otherwise. Um. So I'm going to go to a somewhat of extreme material deficit. No, nah, maybe not that extreme. I need to free up. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, heating, heating uh, stations. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's turn those off. There, there we go. There we go. I, I forgot about those. Storm's over, so we don't need those running. There we go. Now I have the personnel to turn on the other explorers. Good. Perfect, perfect. There we go. So now I can... Uh, uh, Survey the adjacent areas and, like, not die doing it. I have ten extra people. So the ten extra people... I get some oil, I guess. Just to help top up our uh, fuel supply. Um, so this is a UI bug. This coal mining complex fully extracted, so the spinning there is, like, not true. I'm not actually working that area. It's dead. It's depleted. Holy hell, that was, uh... That there was rough. I wish that this was materials and not oil. The other thing I need to turn back on at some point is the, um, oh, what are we getting? Vandalism? Oh, come on. Come on. Really? You broke it.
I think what I'll do... I have to start making prefabs again. But I'm going to turn off the deep drill for coal, because we already have a, a nice surplus of coal. But the vandal vandalism is a result of, um... Of, uh, low rep with probably the overseers, as I'm imagine imagining they're the vandals. But, um, but it's also because I have just crime as a result of having a deficit of goods and, uh, for a while there, materials. And that's gonna, that's, that's, uh, currently being resolved. Of course, it's going to get a lot colder. <laughs> That's not great, but, you know, whatever, we're managing. So I had mentioned wanting to turn on the research again. Um, the problem is I don't have the free personnel to do it, and I'm not sure where to draw the personnel from. Maybe... Oh, you know what I could do? If I built a... food stockpile hub here... I might be able to reduce the total number of people that have to work in this area. Allowing them to be freed up to do other things. But I need 50 prefabs first, so we'll get the 50 prefabs and get the... Can I affect both? Yeah, perfect. So that's a net negative of people that have to work in the food facilities. Freeing more people up to enter the workforce. Awesome. So, I almost have 400. I'll pull from oil. And get a research facility back on. Because what I was hoping to do is to get research to make it easier to survive future... Um, uh, future whiteouts. So, there's another generator upgrade. And this next generator upgrade requires cores, but allows you to optimize a specific type of fuel so that you can burn that more efficiently, which would be a really good thing to research. Um, also, getting skyways to be able to transfer more resources between zones. And I think pretty much everyone is in support of skyways. So I'm going to research that idea because, like, everyone loves it. Bohemians fervor weakens. Good. I don't need them riled up. Overseers begin protesting. They want me to either repeal mandatory school or pass ceremonial funerals. And, uh, to be quite honest, I don't like either of those. I mean, the ceremonial funerals would be fine if I was losing people, but I'm not. So I'm going to try to raise... I'm going to just... Hmm. I might consider, because they've been doing this a lot, he is enacting guard enforcers and pairing that with the research of um, guard towers to suppress their constant uh, rebellions. I don't think that that's necessarily a reasonable thing to do at this point. 
So for the moment, I'll let them take that um, that dense housing district out of the equation while I finish up the research for Skyways. But as soon as I have the capacity to quell the rebellions, I think we need to start making a stand against them as they are only going to continue doing this. I don't, I don't see them stopping as they are opposed to pretty much all of the uh, decisions and laws that we put in effect. Now, I could try to appease them. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to... So there, the trust with them is extremely decreased due to recent deaths, which will dissipate. So the question is, should I try to appease them, or should I lock it down with guards? So it's possible to fund their projects and grant their agendas to sort of appease them. Or I could go the opposite, which is to condemn them, which will reduce their total numbers and try to squash them. And I'll, I'll have you vote for a minute to see what uh, choices you come up with. I think you're all tired of dealing with them, so let's condemn. We're going to smear their faction and decrease their number even more. I can also counter by promoting the Bohemians, gaining their favor in the meantime. And that means that the next research thing I'm going to get is... Uh, is guard towers, and then once we have guard towers, I'm going to enact the... And, and what will end up happening here is as the riots continue, more and more people are going to want me to quell the protests, so there will be more public support for guard enforcers. So I want to wait a little bit longer for the, the public to get tired of this protest so that it's easier to pass guard enforcers. So I'm, I'm sort of counting on the people to piss everyone else off. Basically, for the entire city to get fed up with them. Alright, survey. There is a huge source of food. So this is potentially a food colony. Out somewhere to the east, near the Broken Mountains. There is an oily husk. Out also to the Broken Mountains. There is a core here. Take it. And... A coal stockpile. Uh, I don't need coal at the moment. My stockpile is growing, so I'm not going to take that. I'm going to look around for more cores, because that's probably the resource we need the most of. Right, there's cores here at the Broken Mountains, but it's more... Uh, it requires more um, teams than I have access to at the moment. And cores in this Broken Mountains too. Same deal. I don't have 25. I only have 20. And cores at this Broken Mountain, but again, same deal. So, alright, fine. I am going to stop siphoning the oil so that I can get the cores somewhere close. Alright, we'll go here. Broken Mountains to the east. It's not too far away. 
And it might also have um, prefabs and oil, both of which we would like. All right, research progress. Three weeks, five days away from uh, being able to research Skyways. And then I would very much like to establish a Skyway between me and Iron Home, because Iron Home could very easily add more materials to their production. Moving some of our populace over from Frost Harbor to Sky uh, to Iron Home, which would also decrease crime. Because Frost Harbor is rel relatively populous, which causes an uptick of crime. All right, we got the core. Nice. Where are we going to next? I think there were some easy to survey areas around us. There was one maybe to the north. Planes. Other than the one protest, things are pretty stable in the town, so... Okay. Good. Trust falls due to ongoing protests. Um, but my relationship with almost all the other factions have gone... ...have gone really good in the, in the right direction. So the machine is here, I am, um... I'm like funding their projects and trying to let's actually even grant their agenda and let them vote. Machine centric uh, shifts aren't going to pass, so I'm just going to throw it to a vote. I know it's going to be a, it's not going to pass, but this allows me to build up rep with the machinists. Actually, that was closer to passing than I thought, so that I can try to de-radicalize the overseers with them as well. But as you can see, the trust that I have with the um, the rest of the community is quite high now that all the recent deaths have been, um, essentially forgiven. Skyways! Nice! All right, research. Towers. The Bohemians have cheap towers. Let's do it. I'm tired of these overseers pushing us around. We're not Vault 101. I can't pu push us around. And they're also shutting down a housing district, which is causing people to become um, sick and injured. It's, it's, it's a real problem. We are running out of fuel because it's pretty cold, so I'm going to overtune the generator once the game allows me to click on it. Condemned overseers are shunned by other residents of the city. Okay, everybody is now pissed at the overseers. So the next time the council is off cooldown, uh, I'm going to try to enact a guard law. Because it seems like... Uh, Everybody in the city is basically poised to turn on the overseers. Uh, they're all 
fed up with them. So it's time to act on that, um, that, uh, upset. The other thing I wanted to do is, uh, build the Skyway, but, um, I need some free Frostland group to be able to do that. Oh man, Mega Hoof, hey! <laughs> Little redemption of everything. Cheers! Alright, I don't want the Bohemians to go and counter-protest. You know what? Hell, do it. Counter-protest. Just try not to fight them. So the counter-protests have started, and it's shutting the thing down quick, because Bohemians outnumber overseers more than two to one. So they are, uh, they're forcing that to close. Trust falls due to the continuing protest, but trust is basically maxed. And hey, look at that! They uh, shut down the protests without actually resorting to violence. But unfortunately, some members, due to the counter-protest, have abandoned the Bohemians, but not enough to, uh, to really uh, significantly affect their total numbers. A little bit. Thank you for tuning in to Frostpunk 2 Frost Harbor, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 21st. Frost Harbor was cut from the second half of the marathon, in the first half I covered the story, and the second half was a utopia called Frost Harbor. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow harbormen.